Hello everyone, it's Spawnpoint and welcome back to another video. And today I'm going to be showing you some Xbox Series X gameplay including Gears 5, Ori and the Will of the Wisps and Forza Horizon. And then I'm going to be showing you how the quick resume feature works, which is actually incredible, Game Pass and the game library as well. So I hope this video is useful to you. Now please don't forget to drop a like, subscribe to the channel as it not only helps me out, but it gives me an idea if you want to see more gaming content from me in the future. Okay, so first up, let's take a look at Forza. Now, obviously, this is not a new game, but it's an Xbox exclusive, and it has recently been optimized for the new Xbox Series X and the Series S as well. So let's boot this game up, and wow, this is so fast at loading. I mean, it literally takes a few seconds to go from the dashboard and into the game. I'll show how the quick resume feature works a little bit later, but yeah, this is really quick. So over the last couple of days, I've been working my way through the story, but to be honest, I've spent far too long just driving around the countryside here in the UK, now there are a few places that I recognise as well, so like Amberside for example, this is a place I've literally driven through myself, so it's awesome to see this in a game. But the graphics on this look incredible. Now it looked great anyway, so if you've ever played this game on the Xbox One, it was awesome. So it's hard to say if it looks any better on this console, and I've also changed my TV since then as well, so I can't tell if it's the game that's improved, or if it's the TV that's different. I mean just look at how nice this looks, the sounds as well, the cars, the environment noises, it's all just awesome. Now I don't know about you, but Forza has to be one of, if not the best car game that's out there. So yeah, I really like this, it's really, really nice. And during my gameplay as well, I've been selecting Fords. I mean, you can't beat an Escort Cosy or a Cosworth. Now, I've always had a soft spot for one of these as well, with, especially with the massive whale tail on the back as well. So yeah, really, really nice. This just looks incredible. But as for the gameplay itself, it feels really, really smooth. I'm not sure if you can tell this, because I'm filming this on my phone. So it's difficult to see if you'll actually get to experience it as good as I can see it here. But trust me... Whatever you're seeing now, it looks even better in person. So yeah, this looks really good. Absolutely loving this game. And also let me know if you want to see more gameplay footage from me, whether that's for the Xbox or the PlayStation 5. And what I've done as well is I've actually set up a YouTube channel called Spawn Point Gaming. And that's where I'll be uploading random game clips for both the Xbox and the PlayStation 5. So if you want to check that out, there is a link in the description. But here's some more gameplay of Forza as well. Okay, next up is Ori and the Will of the Wisps. So this is a new game, and this again has been optimised for the Xbox Series X and S. And I'll be honest, it's not usually a game that I would choose to play. However, it looks really, really nice. Now it's quite dark as you can tell here, but it's quite vibrant as well if that makes sense. So if you look at the coloured areas on the screen, even amongst all of the dark background, so the lights and the trees, everything really pops against that black background. So considering how dark it is, it's not too dark as well if that makes sense. And it also makes the most of the 120 refresh rate, but it is really smooth, trust me. I'm actually blown away with playing this today. Oh, and the sounds as well, it sounds awesome. Loads of detail in the environment as you're running around and finding hidden items and fighting creatures as well. Okay, and this is Gears 5 and it looks great. So I've played a few levels of this tonight and coming from playing on an OLED until recently, I was worried that there would be an obvious input delay or a lag at least. And I was worried about the black levels as well, I think they would be really noticeable. But to be honest, it's surprisingly good. Now playing on this 86 inch nanocell TV is really immersive as well, so no matter what games I've played on it, it looks absolutely awesome. Again, this game is optimised for the Xbox Series X and the S. It's in 4K and it's got the capability to run at 120 frames per second. Now, I did try Versus, and it ran stupidly smooth, like silky smooth. It looks awesome too, and it definitely looks better than I ever remember playing. So yeah, it's great to see this game has got the Xbox Series X and S enhancement. It looks great during the day and night. It's pretty vibrant as well, and it's really, really fast, so I love the way that it runs. And a bonus is it's free on Game Pass. Now, I'll cover more about Game Pass in a minute, but here's some gameplay of Gears 5 if you're interested. Okay, so I've got to show and demonstrate how the quick resume or the instant resume feature works here on the Xbox. And this feature is a game changer, it really is, it's honestly incredible. So you're playing a game, let's take Forza here for example, but you want to jump into another game real quick. So you go back to the dashboard, you boot up another game and it loads straight up. The thing is, it doesn't just load really fast anyway, I mean that's awesome, but it loads up to the exact same spot where you left it. Then you leave that game and you go back to another game and again, without saving or quitting the game, you're back to where you left it again. So there's no need to actually close the game or force quit at each time, it just saves the state where you last were. But you don't just have to go back to the dashboard, you can just press and hold the Xbox button on the controller to view the pop-up menu, and from here you can view the different games that you've recently been playing, or the apps, 
and you can just jump between them here. So for example, if I was jumping between Forza, and I was jumping between Ori and the Will of the Wisps, for example, you could just do it real quick, literally click a button, and within, what, three to four seconds, you're back in the game again. You're at the exact same spot where you left it. So yeah, this feature is huge. I think it's one of the best features of this new Xbox Series X and the Xbox Series S. I can really see the benefits to it already. So even recording this video today, for example, it meant that I could jump between the different games. So I could jump between Forza and Ori, and it meant I didn't have to wait for the menu to load each time, select the game save, load it up, and start playing just to record. It meant I could literally just flick between the several games, and it took me like three or four seconds between each game. Absolutely incredible. Another great thing about the Xbox is Game Pass. Now, obviously, if you're coming from a previous Xbox, you're familiar with what that is already. If you're new to Xbox, though, Game Pass is an option to pay a monthly fee, and it unlocks a huge library of games. So depending on the plan that you go for, it'll cost you anywhere between $7.99 and $10.99 a month. And that $10.99 a month, well, that gives you Xbox Live as well. So you can play online, you can play with your friends, and you get access to this library as well. But on top of that, they've just recently added EA access to Game Pass as well. So it not only means you've unlocked hundreds and hundreds and hundreds of games of the Xbox, you can also unlock the EA games. That includes things like Battlefield and Need for Speed plus loads more. So yeah, Game Pass is actually incredible. So if you're paying for Xbox Live already, well, it's only about three or four pounds a month extra to go for the Game Pass Ultimate, and that gets you everything. And then from here, you can literally just look through the library, choose any game you're interested in, click download, and that's it. You've got it. As long as you keep paying your subscription, you can keep playing these games. Another huge advantage of the Xbox Series X and the S is it's backwards compatible, not only with the Xbox One games, but also with the 360 and the original Xbox games as well if you wanted to play those, which is great. So it means you don't have to own several consoles if you are wanting to play those old nostalgic games. And then within the store itself, you can actually filter by the system type. So if you're only interested in seeing the Xbox Series X and S games, the ones that have been optimised, you can literally just choose it from the filter and then it shows you which games are available. Or, if you're interested in just playing 360 games, for example, again, choose that from the filter, and you can look for those instead. So I just wanted to quickly show you what the main settings area looks like on the Xbox. But to be honest, not much has changed, as you can see here. So if you're coming from an Xbox One, expect pretty much the same experience. Now, I'm not sure if that's a good or a bad thing, really, because obviously it's something that we're used to, but it also means that we've not got a new experience as well. So even by booting up and going to the dashboard, it doesn't feel like a next-gen console be just because it looks exactly the same as the old one. Then you've got the quick settings pop up just by pressing and holding the controller on the button. So if you want to check your messages or your online friends and so on, you can do it from here. But yeah, overall, the dash and the UI looks very similar. Um, I think that's a little bit disappointing. I'm not sure about you. It would have been nice to have had a whole new sort of overhaul, a whole new look, a fresh look. So the first time you booted it up, it kind of felt like a brand new console for the next generation. But what do you think? Are you happy that it stayed the same or would you have liked a new look as well? Now the console runs really, really quiet, and I mean whisper quiet, even when you're playing games at 120 frames per second and swapping between games and so on. And the difference between standby and on is practically nothing. I mean seriously, it's silent. Just have a listen to this. Okay, so that was a quick look at the Xbox Series X, including gameplay, quick resume, and the Game Pass. Overall, it's awesome. Seriously, it's a really, really good console. If you're coming from the Xbox One, for example, uh, the load times between games, the quick resume, the lot, absolutely incredible. The controller obviously hasn't changed too much. It's, it's a nicer feel. You can check my unboxing video if you want to know more about the actual console, the looks, the feel, and so on. But gameplay, absolutely incredible. If you want to see more gameplay footage from me on the Xbox, let me know what games that I should get. I obviously need to buy them first. At the moment, I just have Game Pass. That's literally it. So if there are any games you think I should play, drop those in the comments. Also, I hope this video was useful to you. Uh, let me know if there are any other videos that I should do over the next coming weeks. Well, you've just made it to the end of another video. Thank you as always. You know that I appreciate it. Please don't forget to like the video as it helps me out. And if you drop an Xbox Series X gameplay and the green heart, don't forget the green heart, in the comments below, I'll give you a thumbs up as I know you've made it. I know that you like my videos and I'll make more videos for you. Also, if you've got any questions or suggestions for another video, drop those in the comments as well. Well, as always, I hope this video was useful. Please don't forget to subscribe to the channel and you can follow me on Instagram and Twitter. Until next time.